Mori has certainly seen his fair share of characters. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most iconic Mori moments. Uh, be honest, yeah. uh, I've been messing with somebody too. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at moments from Mori that have made us laugh or shocked us with their weirdness. Edwin, you are not the father. Told you! Told you! Good luck, bro! Good luck, bro! Number 10, Backstage Drama. Neri claims, and I quote, she was a cheap trick. <laughs> is typically full of tension, both for viewers and the guests. Quite frankly, it's surprising that backstage fights don't occur more frequently. However, when they erupt, they erupt with a fury unlike anything seen on reality TV. Look Josie, it, are you kidding does that me? baby look like you? The segment started like many others, with Amanda wanting to know if Neri was the father of her child. When it comes to four-month-old Nathaniel, Neri, you are the father. <laughs> After Neri was confirmed to be the father, a major fight broke out on stage, and then continued backstage, containing a lot of unintelligible screaming that required constant bleeping. It was like the Jerry Springer scene from Austin Powers brought to life, only it wasn't nearly as funny. Well, still funny, we suppose, but in a different way. Why go on TV and act like an idiot, Neri? Why? Yeah, I Number 9. Scout parties while Monique cries on the couch. Is Scout the father of Kamari? We hate to make entertainment out of people's misery, but this is why Maury's on the air. You are not! After finding out that he's not the father of Monique's child, Scout parties like it's 1999. He runs through the crowd, does literal flips of joy, and dances on stage, all while Monique runs backstage and cries on the couch. It's a hilarious juxtaposition of happiness and sorrow, but it gets even better when Scout emerges backstage and runs past the camera, Maury and Monique, while still in an obvious state of bliss. Luckily, the story has a bizarrely happy ending, as Scout and his sister hug Monique in a show of support, despite their obvious glee in his not being her baby's daddy. Number 8. White Parents, Mixed Race Kids Can I tell you something? We asked her to take a lie detector test, she wouldn't do it. Oh. Did you really need to go on Maury to figure this one out? In this bizarre segment, white woman Amanda has her white fiancé James DNA tested to determine if he fathered her clearly mixed-race children. Amanda says that she didn't cheat on James, which, come on, did she really think he would believe that? When it comes to four-year-old Stormy, James, you are not the father. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, James doesn't believe that they are his children. And even more unsurprisingly, he is not the father. There's no way. This revelation leads Amanda to cry backstage and scream, there's no way, when there is totally a way. Just admit that you cheated and let's move on. What a waste of time for everyone involved. There's, there's no way. There's no way. Number 7. Chicken Tetrazzini Things have changed since I last talked to you. For one, I got rid of a pile of lying ass. It's not all screaming and crying on Maury. Sometimes it's just good old fashioned fun, like enjoying a communal lunch of chicken tetrazzini. I don't know what she do with the chicken tetrazzini, but Paul love it. Well, okay, it still starts with drama, as Alicia believes that her boyfriend Paul is cheating on her with her best friend Dominique because Dominique made Paul chicken tetrazzini. The original episode became an internet phenomenon, and tons of memes, including a remix, were created. It became such a phenomenon that both Alicia and Dominique made the signature dish for a recap episode, and their chicken tetrazzini was served to the audience. Sometimes Maury borders on the surreal. And now we're hungry. Chicken, 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 chicken. Number 6. Chad is the father of one twin. But she yes. didn't tell you she had slept with somebody else when she found out she was pregnant? No, not until afterwards. She hid it all through her pregnancy? Yes. If you need more examples of Maury's surreal nature, let us tell you the story of Chad and the twins. This story begins with Vina giving birth to fraternal twins. Well, let's backtrack a little. First, Vina cheated on Chad and slept with an ex-boyfriend, then gave birth to twins. Now that the kids are here, I am starting to see a resemblance of the other man. Now Chad wants to know if he's the biological father. In a plot twist you would call bogus if it was in a movie, it's revealed that Chad is the father of one twin, a rare event called superfecundation. When it comes to one-month-old Peyton Chad, 
You are not <laughs> The reveal sends Mori into visible disbelief, and we don't blame him. This is just extraordinary, and extraordinarily heartbreaking for poor Chad. You love these kids. <laughs> yes, I do, with all my heart. <laughs> Number five, Angelique. When she gets angry, she literally bites Nicole, her sister. In this episode, Maury speaks to Nicole, who took in her younger sister Angelique four years ago. I've been having sex since I was 11 years old with over 30 different guys. Angelique works as a sex worker, constantly gets into fights, bites Nicole, and even beats Nicole's five-year-old son. She hit me in my face and it hurt. Angelique shows no remorse for her actions and shows pride in her prostitution even admitting that she sold her body for a double bacon cheeseburger. As for the whole abuse towards her nephew, she proudly states that she doesn't care. We have no idea why Nicole didn't kick her sister out of her house a long time ago. She also thinks she's been pregnant. Has she been pregnant? She's been pregnant twice. Number four, Simone is 130% sure. Cause I, I just want the audience, I just want the audience to feel stupid afterwards. Simone! Now these are the ridiculous kinds of stories we tune into Maury for. In this episode, Simone returned for the sixth time to test a fourth man regarding the paternity of her child. And I'm 130 this time. I open them results, baby. Okay. Open them up. Okay. She was 130% sure that Freddie was the biological father. In fact, she was so sure and excited that she began to dance while Maury read the results. To Simone's surprise, Freddie was not the father, causing her to drop to the floor and knock over a pot in the process. And for those curious, Simone has returned numerous times to the show and has tested 11 men, none of whom were confirmed to be the father. <laughs> Number three, anytime Kim has been on. Everyone, welcome Kim back to the show. With every passing You Are Not the Father, it might feel like you're watching the same episode of Maury over and over again. Well, sometimes it's because of a repeat guest. For Kim, she's come back to the show a whopping eight times for 16 DNA tests and never figured out the paternity of her kids. Kim's desperate search for the father of her two children has been heartbreaking. I had a sex and alcohol addiction. Kim's emotional range on Maury is nothing short of astounding and nothing and no one is safe from her violent outbursts. <laughs> Honestly, the audience, us included, was rooting pretty hard for her to find the dad of her kids. But alas, nada. It's nice to know, though, that Kim has a pretty positive outlook about the whole experience. You know what? When I was young, I was stupid. I was rebellious. But I got two beautiful gifts. Yes, you did. Number two, Shalonda. And I want you to give some space to our guest, Shalonda. If you thought Simone's story was out there, you haven't seen anything yet. A woman named Marisol tested 17 men to see if they fathered her six children, and only found fathers for three of them. However, the reigning champion for Maury appearances is Shalonda, who has appeared on the show 15 times. Do not judge her <laughs> until you know her whole story. She's had 19 DNA tests done on several men to find the father of her daughter Kayla. And guess what? Not a single one, not even her husband, who fathered her other two children, were confirmed to be the poor girl's daddy. Rashad, you are not. <laughs> Each appearance makes for amazing and amazingly awkward TV. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Well, with Landon, it's another guy. Yeah. I, I know. And with Lodge, there's three other guys in, in the process. Didn't you learn anything from your past experiences on this show? I have a nightmare of a man who is made of cotton balls. And he is trying to kill me by putting them in my mouth. Isaac. You are not. All right, you know, that's enough. Oh, no, don't go back there. That's worse. Number one, Andrew's dance. Is there a more iconic moment in Maury history than Andrew's famous dance? In this classic Maury episode, a woman has Andrew on for a paternity test. It doesn't go well for her, but Andrew clearly couldn't be happier to hear the news. 
he ecstatically jumps up and down and proceeds to do a little jig on stage, much to the delight of the audience. This became one of the internet's earliest memes back in 2005, as the dance was made into parodies, gifs, and endless photoshopped images. It even helped popularize the phrase, you are not the father, which is of course now synonymous with Mori. It's a timeless piece of internet history. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.